It used to be the rockers wanted to stick it to the man, and now it seems they are the man. Well, if they are the black eyed peas, that is. And here to tell us all about it on this News Hub Extra is John Jurgensen of the Wall Street Journal. John, explain this, please. What, what are the black eyed peas doing? They're not throwing TVs out of the hotel room, they're not puking up, they're not choking on their own vomit and sleeping with lots of groupies. They, they, they are the man, right? Right. At least not that we know of. I mean, these guys kind of symbolize the big change in groupthink in the music industry in the last Rock groupthink. Rock groupthink. Yeah. Pop groupthink. Which is, if you want to make yourself known, make yourself bigger and bigger and bigger, you have to hit yourself onto big corporations, big brands who have the money and the uh, exposure power to get you out. Uh, let me re rephrase that. They have to sell out. Is that, is that what they have to That's do? That's one way of putting it, but a lot of people think that term is irrelevant now because of the new math of the business. Okay, we've got some video here of some, some stuff they're doing. They do some product placement. They describe exactly what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the first shots of this video, and you have an HP touchscreen right there, and uh, that helps pad out the production budget of the video, helps them get it made, paid probably for some of the CGI that you see in the other video. So for them, it's 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 about promotion, but it's also about fueling the machinery of this band. It's a okay. global band, they have to get themselves is out there. Is that the only way to make money now in, in this business, or, is, or is, is it just the way they have chosen? Well, it's the way they've chosen. It's probably the only way to make more and more money. I mean, yeah. you can kind of get by with record sales, and they sell a heck of a lot of records, these guys. Uh, so they do pretty well uh, in that regard. So are they going to start looking like now? NASCAR with the sort of like patches on their chest, they say Marlboro, Lubrizol, whatever, all over that. I mean, I mean is that the, what we're going for then? Sure, I mean, the theory is the same. You go to the shows and you see Blackberry signage in the corridors and there's a little Blackberry lounge, et cetera, et cetera. But the, the trick is, and they, where they think they are savvier, is that they can get by in the creative ways of doing things by blending Blackberry message into their raps, for example, and not having big signage on the stage. That's their way of trying to make it more organic. Depends on your point of view, though, if it's actually being uh, pulled off. Now, 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 some of my colleagues here, um, actually right, right behind us on the hub, were saying they're not really sellouts because that was what, always what this band was about. It was, ab it was about getting the corporate sponsorships and all that sort of stuff. So there was, th th it wasn't that they had some, some sort of artistic goal and then they sold it out for corporate interests later. This was always the interest was making money. Well, well, actually, I mean, the reason why this band is, is such a flashpoint is because there was a time when they were very much a street band, a very underground band. From oh, so LA. they did sell out. You could say they did, and they uh, they acknowledged there was a time in about 2000 where they did a Dr Pepper ad, and it would kind of open the floodgates for them, and they caught a terrible amount of grief, but they really never looked back; they just kept going. Uh, so they were went from like an LA underground street band to this kind of huge pop sensation, largely uh, because of the help from these brands. Whether that turns you off or not as a fan, that's kind of up to your point of view. Uh, the most important question for me is, are they, now that I've heard of them, are they really, really uncool? <laughs> Have they lost all credibility? No, I think there's room for more. There's, there's you, room you can, for you more coolness? You can get coolness? on board, yeah. You can get I, on board. I gotta say, I do like, I'm a more traditional approach to rockers. I, I like them uh, trashing the hotel room and stuff <laughs> and uh, doing all that sort of rocky stuff, throwing the guitars through the windows, all of that. I, I, back to the good old days. John Jorgensen of the Wall Street Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and this was a News Hub Extra.